here, why are you in class? I scared you, didn't I? Here, hold these. They stick sometimes. <laughs> My name's Pam Burgess. Thanks. I'm new here. <laughs> it's nice to meet you new here. No, I... My name's Jed Fisher. I like that name even better. It's nice to meet you, Jed. Thanks. Hey, do, do you know where uh, Miss Morales class is? You have her? Yeah. Come on, I'll show you. You're gonna be late. The gym's down there in the cafeteria is that way. <laughs> Nobody eats there. Nobody? Well, a few if you call that eating. Hi, Hi. So how do you like it here? Oh, so far, pretty good. Good. Well, here we are, Miss Morell's class. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Sure. Jed, a few of us eat a little pizza place a couple blocks from here. Why don't you come with us? Sure, that'd be great. Meet you in the parking lot at noon? Okay. Bye. Who's this guy? He's that guy I was telling you about. He's new. Great. Hi. Hi. Doug, Jed. Jed, this is Doug. How's it going? Ready to go? Yeah. Jump in. Is it usually this crowded? It's usually not this bad. <laughs> Here, we can sit over here. Hi, Ernie. How's it going? Hey, listen, we saw you sitting all alone at this big table and uh, thought you might be nearly through. You can sit here. I'm almost finished anyway. Hey, you don't mind if I borrow a slice of pizza, do you? Until my order comes up. Hey, come on, Doug. Give it back. What for? He let me have it. Can we sit down now, guys? You don't mind, do you, Ernie? Hey, Ernie, you forgot something. Whoops, sorry. Locker repair, lunch guy, place saver. Services are pretty good around here. Well, my family's very big on volunteer work. Need a ride home? I suppose your family is big on public transportation, too. Anything to assist the lost of the needy. Thanks for the ride. Sure. Hey, can I give you a lift in the morning? Uh, thanks, but I have an early morning class before school. Before school? Yeah, it's it's a religion class for Mormon kids. Some of the different schools around the area. Yeah, I've heard uh, Mormons did some strange things, but I didn't know they had to go to church in the morning. We don't have to go. It's something we choose to do. You choose to do something like that? The toughest choice you've ever made is whether or not to have olives on your pizza. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Jed. See ya. how your first day at school went. I was so surprised to find out how close everything is. I mean, we've got a mall on 7th Street, and right around the corner is a grocery store. <laughs> I'm really gonna love living here. And you guys will make friends real quick. Ted won't have any problems. Listen, there are a couple things I want to say, and then we better see if we can get this stuff unpacked, okay? Yeah. Number one, dare to be a Mormon. There's not one thing that we believe in that we have to be embarrassed about. And number two, dare to make it known. A lot of your friends won't be members. So try to find ways to share your beliefs without being preachy and without being insensitive to their beliefs. Okay? Okay. Hmm? All right. Let's get to work. Oh, it's 
afraid you're going to say that. I'd, uh, I'd like to thank you for trying to help me yesterday. Sure. My name is Ernie McBride. I'm Jed Fisher. Uh, I've, I've got to go to chemistry now. See you later. Bye. See you. What was that all about? Nothing. My dad knew Mormon in the service. He says he respects him. Hey, I live this way. I know. I just thought I'd show you a little of the scenery. You know, I really like this. Yeah. Sometimes I, I like to come out here and think. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of crazy, but sometimes when I'm out here all alone, I get the feeling like there's really someone out there. There is. You sound pretty sure of yourself. I am. It's something I've been taught all my life. What do Mormons believe about God? Well, we... We believe he's real, and that he created all of this, and that we lived with him before we came here. You really believe that? Yes, I do. Listen, if you really want to know what Mormons believe, maybe you can come to church with me sometime. I'll think about it. They say you're a Mormon. My uncle is a Mormon. Are there any Mormon churches around here? A few. Can anybody go? Sure. I've got a jacket I could wear with these pants. Would, would that be okay? I guess so. Which one do you go to? Uh, it's the one over on Parkway. We'll see you later. Hi. Hi. I wouldn't give a guy like Ernie any encouragement unless you want him for a shadow. Do you have a lab partner for chemistry yet? No, not yet. You do now. Don't you already have one? Not anymore. Each of you has a test tube with an unknown solution in it. Your assignment is to do the series of tests found on page 61 in your workbook. If you have any questions or any problems during the exercise, then just check with the uh, lab assistant here. Okay, let's go to work. I hope your family is big on research, too. Nothing to it. Here, copy this down in your worksheet. But what about the tests we're supposed to do? All the reactions are negative except numbers 3 and 11. Yeah, but aren't we going to do them? What for? This is how I do all my experiments. How are we going to learn this stuff if we don't do the experiments? What's to learn? I know as much about it now as everyone else. Well, well I don't. I mean, chemistry is one of my toughest subjects. Then bring your worksheet. Where are you going? For a ride. You want to come? The class isn't over. If the lab is over, then the class is over. Come on. Hi. May I help you? Hi. Uh, I was looking for Jen Fisher. I think he went to pick up somebody before sacrament meeting. Are you new in the ward? Actually, I'm just visiting today. I'm not a Mormon, but my uncle is. Well, let me introduce you to somebody who can show you around. Okay. Is he Elders? Uh, this, I uh, don't know your name. Ernie McBride. Ernie McBride? This is Elder Minor. Hello. Nice Elder to meet you. Hello, Ernie. Hello. Is this your first time here? Yeah. Hello, Ernie. Ernie they'll help you out. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Um, by the way, it's possible that Ernie might be at church today, too. Ernie? Yeah.
Let's go in here. I guess it seemed a little bit different from what you're used to. Maybe we can try it again sometime. Look, Jed, actually... I'm actually more interested in you than I am in your church. It would mean a lot to me. We'll see. Okay. We set up a discussion with Ernie on Tuesday. Is it all right if we gave him the discussion here, Brother Fisher? That would be great. Why don't you invite Pam to come, too? Not with Ernie. Oh, well, what's wrong with that? I, I, just, I just don't think Pam's ready for the discussions yet. You know, you could really help fellowship Ernie. Maybe eat lunch with him. Or maybe you guys could take him to an activity night. Sure, we could do that. Stop every once in a while and ask yourself this question. Is this book true? Is it the word of God? Missionary said it would be okay if I came to seminary, but there are only buses that early. I was kind hey, of Jed, weird. making lots of new friends. <laughs> <laughs> I can pick you up. Dear Uncle Ray, thanks for your letter. I'm reading the Book of Mormon, and the missionaries want me to stop and pray about it. I guess I'm new at this, but I'm not sure about praying. I'm not even sure if God exists. The other thing is that Jed, you know the kid I told you about? Lately he treats me just like all the other kids do.
only time you paid any attention to Ernie tonight was when Scott was serving the ball at him. He was the weakest member of your team. It was just good strategy. You're not helping him at all. It's a waste of time, Brenda. The only reason why Ernie is interested in the church at all is because for the first time in his life, someone's paying attention to him. You think you're better than he is, don't you? What's wrong? Isn't he good enough for your precious Pam? Pam will never take the church seriously if Ernie's baptized. Oh, so you're just, you're just gonna write him off? I picked him up tonight. I, I take him to seminary. What more do you want? What would the Savior do? D don't you think the Lord is just as interested in Pam as he is in Ernie? You know, I used to be proud of you. But I'm not sure I even know you anymore. You've changed. Pam's changing you. Did you know that? Why don't you just grow up? Sure, other kids treat me that way. But I thought Jed was different. That's the reason why I came to church in the first place. I know. But no matter how my brother acts, the church is still true. Jed doesn't want me to join the church, does he? No, it's not that. It's just... He's confused right now. I don't think he knows what he wants. answers to problems in the scriptures? Well, if you can put a name on your problem, you can look in the references in the back. It's the kind of problem that's going to be around for a while. You just have to keep it in mind while you read and look for an answer. What kind of problem you want to talk about? No, not yet. Maybe later. Thanks. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Dear Ernie, thanks for the letter and the questions. All I can say about Jed is that he provided a good example for you when you needed it. Maybe you could return the favor. In answer to your question about prayer and about God, I think maybe it would be best if you hear the solution from the Book of Mormon instead of me. In the Book of Alma, there's someone with a question a lot like yours. Take a look at Alma, chapter 22. O oh God, Aaron hath told me that there is a God, and if there is a God, and if thou art God, wilt thou make thyself known unto me, and I will give away all my sins to know thee. Good old Ernie to be baptized? I don't know. If he does, you have to call him Brother Ernie, won't you? If I join the church, will you call me Sister Pam? There's only one way to find out. <gasps> Bye, Daddy. Did you ask your dad about having the missionary lessons? I never ask him for anything unless it costs money. We're going out on our boat this weekend. Why don't you ask him? Mom and Dad want you to go water skiing with us. We're flying out Thursday. We'll be back Sunday night. Seriously? <laughs> uh-huh. All right. 
It's not just a question of missing school. What about church on Sunday? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to miss one Sunday. It's not going to kill me. That's not the point. That's not the point. Where are your priorities? The point is, when are you going to trust me enough to let me make my own decisions? Okay. But will you take some time to think about it? Yeah, sure. between two opinions. Remember when thou was little in thine own sight? Good morning. Look, I can make my own decisions without any help from you. I'm going next weekend. Brenda? You were looking for answers. Were they for you or for Jed? <laughs> Major little friend. Sodium hydroxide. Go away, I'm busy. The unknown is sodium hydroxide. Now that I told you it isn't unknown, is it? Since I saved about an hour's work, do you want to go shopping? Come on. Jed, is that you? Yeah, what, what do you need? Could you come in the living room for a minute? I think the elders have something that you need to hear. We've got great news. Ernie's committed to baptism, and he wants you to baptize him. That sounds really good. When's all this happening? Five o'clock Saturday. Dad, you know I can't. I'm going to be with Pam and her parents this weekend. Well, you know, Jed, Ernie really wants you to baptize him. Whether you go boating or not is your own business. But whether or not you baptize Ernie is his business. The least you can do is talk to him. Hmm? Jed! Wait up! 
Listen, I didn't mean to make you mad. I was just worried, and I found those scriptures. I thought it would help. I'm sorry. It's okay. See you later. Bye. Hey, Ernie, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. I'll talk to you later. What happened to your glasses? Contacts. Hey, I was just talking to the missionaries it's, and they said... It's okay. The elders told me already. Listen, I really like to be there. It's just it, that... You'd rather be with Pam. It's not that simple. You see, I think this could be a good chance for Pam to have this, the missionary lessons. Who's converting who? What do you mean by that? I heard you and Pam were cheating in chemistry. Only on the labs. Oh, only on the labs. I, I, I'm planning on making it up. You're not too happy about me joining the church, are you? No, well, not at all. The church is for everyone. But you'd like to choose which of those everyone joins, wouldn't you? I'll always be grateful that you got me interested in the church. I'm still going to be baptized. Not because of your example, but in spite of it. See you later. How did this happen? Why did I stray? Where did I stumble? And lose my way? Have I lost my sense of wrong and of right? Am I in shadow or am I? by sin can I escape the confusion I'm in surrounded by love yet burdened with strife can I regain the light in my life if you're torn between wrong and right open your heart and receive the light when life leads down the dark and the word is a lamp unto your feet. The word is a lamp unto your feet. Treasure the word, the lamp of truth, light to your path, guide in your youth, hold up the lamp. What are you trying to do to me? Hi, how's it going? I've just been to see the vice principal. Oh, they finally caught on to you, huh? Not without your help, they didn't. What are you talking about? It's you that's been doing all the talking, and I've been accused of cheating on my chemistry labs. Listen, Pam, I, I did go in and tell him about me, but I didn't say a word about you, honest. Well, what did you think would happen? What did you do such a dumb thing for anyway? <laughs> the dumb thing was to cheat in the first place. When are you going to get it through your head? This is not church. This is the real world. Isn't honesty real? Look, if you expect to make it here, if you want to have any friends at all, you find out who those friends are and never cross them. And uh, what about Ernie? I mean, can't I be friends with Ernie? I don't make the rules. I just go by them. Yeah, well, I don't. I mean, what kind of rules are those anyway? They're mean to walk on people. How do you think Ernie feels? Ernie's getting baptized this Saturday. He's asked me to baptize him. I won't be able to go with your parents this weekend. Tell them I'm sorry. I can't believe you. Pam, if you knew me at all, you would know why I'm doing this. Maybe I don't. What about me? Is there any more important to you than me? What is important is that I do what I know I should do. If I let Ernie down today, who's to say that I won't let you down tomorrow? You have let me down. I haven't let you down, Pam. 
We've let Ernie down. We've let all the Ernies down by the way we treat them every day. If that's the way you feel, then you deserve each other. Maybe we do. Treasure the world, the lamp of truth, light to your path, guide in your youth, hold up the lamp, hold up the lamp. that can set you Receive the light when life leads down a darkened street. The word is a lamp unto your feet.